Hello, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com, and in this emergency AutoCAD Civil 3D 911 video, we'll be discussing point inverse. So, in the professional Lanceveia group on LinkedIn, there was a discussion uh, where it came up about AutoCAD Civil 3D, whether it was good or not for Lanceveying, and a couple of Lanceveyers stated some what I think are myths about AutoCAD Civil 3D. Uh, that things that they think that it can't do uh, for land surveyors when in fact it can. So we want to discuss, I've seen this, it was in this discussion, I've seen it in other discussions on the web that the myth that AutoCAD Civil 3D doesn't do point inversing and nothing could be further from the truth. So what you can see here is we have a drawing with a road alignment which is carried over from some other drawing but four points in the drawing and what we want to do is if you're running AutoCAD a version of AutoCAD Civil 3D with the ribbon you want to switch which I've already done here but switch to the analyze tab and under the inquiry panel you'll see you have inquiry tool which the command line for that is AECC show inquiry we'll put that in the show notes and this inquiry tool actually has uh, the ability to do uh, several inquiries into different objects in AutoCAD Civil 3D, but today we'll be looking at point inverse. So it is there, so click on point inverse, and what you'll see is you can enter in a first point and a second point to do the inverse in between. So let's just say 18 and point 19. Now obviously there have to be points in your drawing with these numbers to do that. And what you can see is it actually uh, drew a temporary line in between those two points to show you what you're inversing. And then also you can manually select points. There's a little ellipses button next to each one. And just click that and you can manually select from the drawing your point numbers. And what you can see at the bottom is uh, first of all, in between it fills in some information about the points, their coordinates and the description, but at the bottom what you're really interested in is it gives you the direction, the inverse horizontal distance, grid direction, grid distance, geodetic distance, geodetic direction and forward and geodetic direction reverse. And in most cases you're probably interested in the direction, which in this case is north 86, 37, 25 east, and a horizontal distance of 189.28. So you can do point inverse in AutoCAD Civil 3D. It's very easy. You just need to find the inquiry tool. And what I like to do with the inquiry tool, because I use it a lot for uh, point inversing, but for a lot of other inquiries too is I have set it so that it will be up in the quick access toolbar which means you don't have to go tracking through ribbons and panels to find it which makes that very easy. This has been your emergency AutoCAD Civil 3D 911 video on point inversing in AutoCAD Civil 3D brought to you by me Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit ericcolburn.com for more AutoCAD Civil 3D and land surveying information. Thank you, work smarter, and be brilliant.